Hello everybody, it's Zechariah. As many of you know, I am dedicating my running to run, for, to run for all the fallen police officers, firefighters, and U.S. Border Patrol members who served life in line of duty in 2021. And unfortunately tonight, I'm running for another fallen deputy who have lost his life in line of duty. Tonight, I'm running for fallen deputy Christopher Wilson Knight. He worked with the Bibb County Sheriff's Office in Georgia, and his end of watch was April 6, 2021. He lost his life after uh, being stabbed to death by an inmate uh, at the Bibb County Law Enforcement Center. He was only 30 years old at the time of his passing, serving three amazing years with the Bibb County Sheriff's Office in Georgia. He leaves behind a two-year-old child and a mother. Tonight, I'll be running with the Blue Line flag in his honor. I'll be joined by many departments and supporters tonight, including the Orange County Sheriff's Office, who are patrolling and bagpiping. Uh, the bagpiper from the Central Florida First Responders Bagpipes and Drums is also a part of the Orange County Sheriff's Office. That's why he's also representing them tonight. We are also joined by the U.S. Customs and Border Protection, who are going to be running with me tonight. Also joined us is an, a U.S. Customs and Border Protection supporter, as well as a, a huge supporter um, up in uh, up in Chicago who came down uh, who to support this fallen first responders run tonight. So I want to thank him for coming down as well, as well as, my, as well as my whole family here tonight during the run. Even though it seems like it's just me and one other person running, at the same time, there's even more running, and it's all the fallen I have ran for. I know they're all running in spirit tonight, including fallen Deputy Christopher Wilson Knight. Before the run starts, I'm going to do a quick prayer in honor of his whole family department, through hard time they are going through, and they'll be on my way. that are tuned in tonight. Tonight, Zechariah running one mile to honor another fallen hero lost in the line of duty. This mile in honor of fallen Deputy Christopher Wilson Knight. He worked with the Bibb County Sheriff's Office in Georgia. His end of watch, April the 6th, 2021. Tragically, he lost his life after he was stabbed to death by a prisoner at the Bibb County Law Enforcement Center. He was only 30 years old at the time of his passing, serving a total of three years as a member of the Bibb County Sheriff's Office in Georgia. He leaves behind a two-year-old child as well as a mother. Zachariah now completing his first of seven laps, which is one mile, to honor the life of fallen deputy Christopher Wilson Knight. Always very appreciative of the various local agencies that continually come out to help honor our fallen heroes alongside Zechariah. Helping tonight to honor fallen Deputy Christopher Wilson Knight, we have multiple members of neighboring Orange County Sheriff's Office, including one of those members who is a piper for the Central Florida First Responder Pipes and Drums Band. We also have with us tonight members of the U.S. Customs and Border Protection based out of the Orlando International Airport, running with Zechariah as well. We're all here tonight to pay tribute to 30-year-old Deputy Christopher Wilson Knight from the Bibb County Sheriff's Office in Georgia. Tragically lost his life back on April the 6th after he was tragically stabbed to death by a prisoner at the Bibb County Law Enforcement Center. Three-year veteran of the Bibb County Agency leaves behind a two-year-old child and mother. Zechariah now completing his second lap to honor this hero tonight. Every mile that Zechariah runs, he carries with him a unique flag. Each flag gets sent to the family of the hero that he runs to honor. This flag tonight, a blue line flag, will get sent to the family of fallen Deputy Christopher Wilson Knight, along with a note that Zechariah wrote earlier this evening. If you'd like more information on how you could be part of the flag mission, please visit running4heroes.org. 
I'm going to go silent starting on this next lap. I'm going to remain silent for the remaining four laps as we reflect on the life of this hero of the Bibb County Sheriff's Office, fallen Deputy Christopher Wilson Knight. Our prayers go out to everybody with the Bibb County Sheriff's Office, having now lost two deputies in the last year. Our prayers also go out to Deputy Knight's child and his mother. May this run honor him well, and we thank him for his service. May we never forget Deputy Christopher Wilson Knight. Zachary, any final words for the family of fallen deputy Christopher Wilson Knight? 
befallen Deputy Christopher Wilson Knight's whole family, as well as everybody at the Bibb County Sheriff's Office in Georgia, heal through the hard time they're um, experiencing. It's only been one or two days um, since De Deputy Christopher Wilson Knight's passing. And if you're not here for the start, basically, Deputy, uh, Deputy Christopher Wilson Knight and some other officers too were uh, escorting uh, a prisoner to a different, basically a different cell, uh, just near three o'clock in the morning. And unfortunately in the process, the prisoner um, took um, one of the deputy's knife and um, stabbed Deputy Christopher Wilson Knight to death. Um, I'm pretty sure another one was in, another deputy was injured as well in this instance. Very, very sad story. And when these things happen, it's, it's a split second reaction of what you can do. Um, but you know, there's just some people out in the world that really just don't think before they act. And unfortunately it, it lets us lose lots of officers and firefighters every single year. That's one of the main reasons why we lose our officers and firefighters because of purposely act, purposely forced actions by other people that the police or firefighters were encountering um, before they are passing. So my prayer is just with him, only 30 years old, serving just three years with the Bibb County Sheriff's Office. I know he was gonna serve a lot more years in the future. I know he was very passionate towards the service and passionate towards his community, including the uh, Bibb County Law Enforcement Center where at the time he was working, at least when he passed away. I know he also left behind a uh, two-year-old child and a mother as well as other like, family members and friends. So I pray they all heal and I hope this run just lets him know he was a true hero and we'll never forget him down here in Florida and throughout the whole entire nation with the help of this run tonight. If you're part of the family to help out with the healing process, I'd like to send you this blue line flag. I remember tonight in Deputy Christopher Wilson Knight's honor, as well as a handwritten note that I've already written and ready to be sent out to your location. There's no preference on what we want you to do with the flag with a note, but whatever you do with it, we really find comfort every single time you look at it, knowing that Deputy Christopher Wilson Knight will never, uh, never be forgotten. And we uh, hope you will in the future. And we hope this run also gives the Bibb County Sheriff's Office, the deputies there, an extra step uh, to continue serving in honor of Deputy Knight's honor, to continue his legacy forever on and remember his story. Two more things tonight to help support this fallen first responder. We know he only served three years, but we know he was gonna serve more years in the future if this incident did not happen. So of all of you, first of all, like the batter heads in a 10 second moment of silence. In this case, each second dedicating one amazing thing he did during his life, including in law enforcement, and each second just dedicating just some incredible acts of kindness and uh, courage that he uh, um, that he did during his life. Please do because you're in 10 seconds, you do not know how much you can mean to the family through a hard time they were going through. Thank you very much for joining me in that 10 second moment of silence. Now, if all of you one more time tonight would like the batter heads, this time in a prayer uh, to help out Deputy Christopher uh, Knight's family. Um, so if all of you like the batter heads one more time tonight, this time in a prayer for him, please do. Dear God, unfortunately tonight, even though we've only come out here to do one mile, which means that our mile count has been caught up, we unfortunately have to still run for another fallen first responder tonight. And I know tonight it was for Deputy Christopher Wilson Knight. God, I know that he's up in heaven right now, smiling down, and but I know the God that the family may not be, uh, just because of how how much of a hard time they're going through, may not realize that. So God, guide the family to this run and, and the whole department to this run and let him know that even though he's not on this earth anymore, he's still in spirit right beside them every single day. And I know he was running in spirit tonight with us as well. Um, God, I know he's smiling down and just let him know that he was an amazing man. I know he did not deserve to pass away in this way, but his actions uh, possibly saved even more people. And, you know, God, just let him know that we will never forget him down here. Um, and we, once the time has come, we will see him up there again. But God, let the family know that we will see him once again because he is in heaven uh, and he is enjoying a, a new life and, you know, just a... Um, Lots of amazing stuff up there. So, God, watch over all first responders as well. Um, keep them safe overnight because even though um, 
even though we've lost so much, I really do not want to lose any more over the weekend because I won't be running uh, specifically for a fallen officer until at least Saturday. Um, so God, watch over all first responders that are going to the night shift, keep them all safe because the least thing I want to hear when I wake up is another first responder lost her life um, as an angel on earth and became an angel in heaven with you. Um, one more thing, God, I know this is a little bit different from the story tonight, but I know there was also a, a shooting in Texas where a trooper was injured. So watch over his family as well. I know that we do not know his, uh, his condition. So let's hope that he also gets out of his injuries. But God, watch over the whole family. And one more time, guide them to this run if they have not seen it yet. Once again, God, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you all very much for joining me in this run tonight. I want to thank everybody one more time for coming out. The Orange County Sheriff's Office, the Central Florida First Responder Bagpipes and Drums, the U.S. Customs and Border Protection, as well as my whole family, as well as supporters, even one who came down from Illinois tonight. Uh, he was in Florida, and he's actually one of our biggest supporters. And I want to thank him for coming down and just coming here to do the run as well. Um, it was a pleasure seeing him again and him joining us in this run. Thank you all very much again for watching this run. Unfortunately, we do have at least, I think, one more run to do right now. Um, so if all of you would just please pray for our first spotters tonight, and let's hope that we only have to do one when we come back. Once again, thank, God, thank you everybody for watching. Hope you all have a safe night, especially for your first spawner, and I pray God blesses you all.